Hi, welcome back to another review on the Mighty Max Doom Zone series. Now the Mighty Max franchise has its share of diabolical scientists, and it's obvious that these scientists need a supplier, and that supplier is the Scorpion, the keeper of the toxic mine. Yeah. This Doom Zone set is pretty weird, and it's kind of unorthodox. But nevertheless, it's pretty cool. Officially called Mighty Max Sting Scorpion. So what we have here is a scorpion. Its design's pretty hardcore, mixing the colors of black and red. The body's pretty thick and feels like a shell. Some good little artwork with the arachnid eyes and the mouth. One of its highlights is the red tail, which can be moved like so. And its other unique asset is the claws, which can be moved backwards and forwards like this. <laughs> Now the opening process of this has a few steps. First pull the tail back, then hold the claws open. Open the back lifting the setup. Remove the scoper bot machine, then push up the claw machine. This set is pretty much two machines combined, and they're probably both nuclear powered. Now we have three characters here. We got Max, armed with an acid gun. Our villain Scorpion, he's the keeper of the toxic mine and the man who runs all the operations. His design's pretty cool with his radiation suit, mixing the red and the yellow. Also his left foot looks to be mutated, possibly due to a toxic waste accident. He's kind of like a distorted T-1000 mixed with Dale Gribble. <laughs> Our other villain is Scorpion's machine called the Scorpobot. He's a giant mutated scorpion robot, used for the mining operations and also for eliminating intruders. It's made out of good quality red rubber. There is the big mechanical tail which you can operate. There's also a lot of details on the controls and its mechanical instruments. Note the two nuke symbols. And underneath, we got the green nuclear tanks and its motor. Only in 90s toys you ever get this kind of detailing. Max can also ride it. Now, as for the primary set, it deviates away from the traditional Doom Zones. It treats itself more as a gigantic character, or more or less another machine. The primary flooring and the wall is black giving it a bit of a brooding look. Bottom section is very minimal. We have a green floor and a nuclear reactor made by Sticker. Just a little bit up, we got a toxic waste barrel and a few colored metal stuff. That's it for the bottom. Now on the upper part, we got a very dark looking metal door and if you look closely, you can see the burnt hand of a deceased person. There is his skull. Now we see the Gravitron machine. It has a very industrial and mutated look to it, with its scorpion claws and its mechanical parts. We got a yellow platform with an acid spray gun, along with its engine in the back. Yeah. The overall interior is very simple and... meh. It's not really flashy when compared to the other sets, but it makes up for all this with its mechanical hazards. Anyway, the comic strip makes good use of all the machinery, and moves at whoop speed. The story starts with Maxi entering the toxic mine. He gets spotted by Scorpion who unleashes his crazy dialogue, and he orders Scorpobot to try and take Max's head off, but Max avoids the machine and manages to deck Scorpion. Scorpion orders his Scorpobot to sting Max, but Max dodges the tail, and the Scorpobot machine ends up destroying itself. Yep. Scorpion moves to plan B and uses the Gravitron to get Max. But Max is too fast and climbs up the machine. He gives a toxic formula bucket to Scorpion, who seems to be allergic to it. Scorpion falls down and Max catches him with the mechanical claws. Again, Max shows his dominance as he teleports away. There was a cartoon episode based on this called Scorpio Rising. 
It's set in the Las Vegas desert. The plot revolves around the mad scientist Scorpion, who is using his nuclear power and radiation to create giant mutated scorpions to wreak havoc on the world. And this is where Max and his team come to the rescue. It's basically a larger scale version of the comic strip. As for the Scorpion guy, he should have been working for Mr. Burns. Anyway, closing procedure. First, close up the Gravitron. Stick Scorpion under the Scorpobot. Place the Scorpobot on the center of the set with the tail out. Place Max on the Scorpobot. Close the set and close the tail. Yeah. Yeah, the Scorpion is very unorthodox. And it's definitely not the flashiest one in the series. But it does have this gritty hard edge to it. <laughs> yeah. And those claws. That never gets old. Now oh, I'm amazed it still works. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed the review, and I'll see you on the next one.